Okay, so in our previous video, we have discussed the theoretical part of syslog and the syslog server. And in this video, in packet tracer, we are going to implement a syslog server. And to configure syslog server, first of all, we need a syslog server, like a server, which we will be configuring as a syslog. So you can see this is one server which I have taken. And then let's say we need a router from where we want to send these and uh, maybe event or error messages to this server. So we are going to select one uh, router here and then with the help of some switch, let's say we are going to connect this router to that server. And for connection, I'm going to click on connections, click on this automatic connection, press control key and then connect from router to the switch. And from this switch to this uh, server. And now you can see these are these are showing red it means they are not connected so for that we need to have ip address for this interface the very first thing is that we are going to connect this router with the server otherwise no message can be sent there so we are going to connect or click on that router click on cli and then we are going to configure an ip address on on g0 slash 0 interface so for that first we go to global configuration mode and here we go to interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 press enter ip address we are going to configure here is 192.168.10.1 and then submit mass is 255255255.0 and then we issue the command no shutdown press enter and then we go to our server here click on desktop ip configuration and ip address we are going to configure this should be in the same subnet so we are going to click on configure 192.168.10.10 and after this we want to verify that we can reach from this router to this server so for that i'm going to use let's say a command that is ping command so control Z and I use ping command to ping that server that is 192.168.10.10 and .10 .10. uh, let's see if it gives us a message 80% so now if we turn it again it should be 100% 100% it means this router is connected with this uh, syslog server and after that we have to simply go to a server click there and then click on services and here we have different services which we can enable so at the moment we only need syslog i'm going to click here on syslog and on syslog you can see these services are already turned on you don't need to do anything so i'm simply turn them on and then we go to this router and now this router if we go first we need to go to global configuration mode and we can say logging and then we can say console so console logging is enabled by default but at this time we want to send these all messages to uh, that uh, server syslog server so we can give the ip address of that syslog server so that is 192.168.10.10 and press enter okay and then we press maybe exit and now we have to generate some maybe some events here so that some messages should be sent to this syslog server and for that maybe i'm going to this router again i'm going to say we are going to maybe say uh, enable we are going to enable password so enable password maybe one two three four five six enter and then we get out of from this and maybe press exit type enable it will be asking for password one two three four five six so it means now there should be some messages sent to our syslog server and to check those messages we can again go to our syslog server and then click here you can see already services are selected we have to click on syslog and in the syslog you can see we can have different error messages generated here so you can see here the very first message if you don't see then simply double click here it will be showing you the message yeah. so this is sys is system maybe this is a 
uh, the facilities a system this was error message generated by system which we discussed in our previous video and this five shows severity level and this is like mnemonic and this is the description of what happened so configured from console by console there's some description of uh, the message and then here this time we have this sys severity level is six the logging host that was second event and this is the third event configured from console by console so these are some error messages which were sent as a result of some events or some configuration we made here and they were sent to the syslog server so that is the job of syslog server so in this way not only one uh, device we can have multiple devices routers switches even we can have computers we can configure them to send those all log messages to this uh, syslog server and when any network administrator comes they can check all these error messages or these error messages can generate some alarm messages as well which can be sent which can be checked or maybe can be sent can be used for example for sending an email to network administrator so that's it that's what i wanted to show you in this video and if you are interested in theoretical part of syslog i have discussed the same in other video so thank you thank you hope to see you in some other video